okay, just like math, these lessons are starting to follow a pattern. And if you remember back from the last topic, we talked about rounding and went right into estimating. That's exactly what we're going to do here. So I want to pose this problem. Let's say our, t our, our class is trying to get some t-shirts and a couple other people want some and we want to order 38 t-shirts for $23 each. Okay, so rather than get out our calculators, we want to figure out about how much we're going to spend. So again, we're going to use rounding to estimate this. So the 38 would round up to 40. That 23, because of the 3 to the right of the 2, would round to 20. Now, we're going to go back to our mental math. We have the 4 times the 2, which is 8. But we have two zeros here, one in the 40 and one in the 20. We need to add those to the end. Okay, so we need to put that at the very end. So we take that 8 and the two zeros, and we get the answer of 800. So the answer to our problem, we need about $800 to get around 38 shirts for our class. Let me introduce two new vocabulary words that we use in estimating. We have overestimate and underestimate. They are just terms to describe when we estimate something, we either estimate it high or low. Obviously, uh, we don't estimate it right in the middle because that would be the exact answer. So let's look at this problem. A store is generating to try to see how much money they can get in March. Now March has 31 days. So they average about $525 a day for 31 days. Well, we want to estimate to see about how much that is. So if we look at the 525, that rounds down to uh, 500. We take that 31, that rounds down to 30. So now we take that 5 times 3, okay, and that is 15. And then we have one, two zeros on one side and one zero on the other. So that's three total zeros, so we need to add those to the end. We have 15,000. Okay, 15,000 is actually an underestimate. Why? Because we rounded 525 down to 500 and 31 down to 30. It's important that we know that we have an underestimate. Why? Because when we find the exact answer, it should be greater than 15,000. If it is not, we did something incorrectly. Okay, so that is the logic behind finding the overestimate and the underestimate. You could find the overestimate too and round the 525 up to 600 and then that 31 up to 40 uh, and you should find an answer in between those two numbers.